Alrighty, so we have a construction update out of Canada's Wonderland today on Yukon Striker, and things are really starting to take shape. So I'm going to go over them in this video, but just to let you guys know, there are 55 pieces of track in the storage lot right now, um, and you have lots of uh, about five pieces of track on the actual site that should be installed this week. If I had to take a random guess, I'm guessing uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Um, based off what I'm seeing now, they still have one more support beam to go up before they can start installing um, the next couple of segments. So I'm going to explain what it looks like is going to happen. Um, so they have the zero G supports going up now. They are really tall. You can see them outside the park as well. So the support for the zero G roll or negative G roll, um, whatever you want to call it, Wonderland is calling it the negative G roll. Um, but the zero G roll element uh, support is up. It's super tall. You can see it going up right now. You have the mid course break run or what I like to call the third course break run because it happens to take place about three quarters of the way through the roller coaster. Um, it, the supports are already up for that. The mid course is actually just on the ground there next to Splashworks' change rooms. I'll point it out with an arrow. Um, and uh, yeah, so that'll be going in place once here Thursday. You'll have the zero G roll going in as well. And then I don't know if you've noticed what's going on in the bottom right. I know there's a lot of exciting things going on in the center of my screen, but in the bottom right around the station, work has started. So um, I'm not sure if that's going to be the entrance for the queue line yet. Uh, it, I'm not quite sure where that is. Again, that wasn't on the blueprints, uh, the pathways and all that. The blueprints were for the roller coaster, didn't show the fountain work uh, that'll be coming with Yukon Striker or the pathways at all. And um, we don't know if that is the station foundation that's about to be dug out, because again, they are digging out around the station work. And we do know that it's going to be um, themed to the Yukon um, Gold Rush era. So we're, it's probably going to be some tin mining facility building going around it. Um, or if that's the entranceway that's going to go and squeeze its way through Yukon Striker. From what I've heard, Yukon Striker's queue line will be the largest in the park. Um, so that'll be exciting. So I'm not quite sure what it is. We'll find out more. The drone will be keeping an eye on it. Um, thank goodness this drone can fly in winter. Um, so that's truly exciting. So we'll be able to follow along as things take form. So what you're going to see is the mid-course brake run is going to be lifted into place. Um, they'll probably install the drop as well. Then they'll complete the zero G roll um, go leading towards the vertical loop. You can actually see them um, throughout these clips prepping the land um, for the crane and getting... Um, the vertical loop section over there or the coaster over there to do the vertical loop um, So that'll be exciting again. You're gonna see a lot of action this week so um, Again the timeline to complete Yukon strikers track work is by the end of December um, I'm thinking they're gonna have to get this thing done before the before Christmas So we're down to about 25 days. I'm guessing 25 26 27 whatever it ends up being days they have left to complete Yukon Striker. So you're going to see a lot of things happening really quickly. And the reason they need to complete Yukon Striker by this deadline is if you've noticed, they haven't started any of the aesthetics. So none of the aesthetics have taken form like they have over at Carowinds. None of, nothing for Frontier Canada has taken form. So again, Canada's Wonderland just isn't getting Yukon Striker for 2019. They're getting a newly themed area called Frontier Canada. Um, and they need a construction crew to come in and start on that as well. Um, you can't have a bunch of construction teams in there when you're using a crane um, because, again, as you can see, the construction equipment has been removed out of the vertical loop area, except for one digging um, piece of equipment over there. So there's a reason for that. Cranes take up a lot of space. You can't have anything in their way. And Frontier Canada is going to be mainly in the vertical loop section area. So they need to complete the coaster so that these other this other construction company can come in and start Frontier Canada and they're not getting in each other's way. Um, so that's mostly the reason I'm assuming why Yukon Striker has such an early timeline for completion is just the construction companies need to kind of work around each other. Now, that doesn't mean Yukon Striker is going to be done as of uh, the end of December. It just means track work. There's lots of other work to take place. So you have the station, electrical, um, sensors. You got the testing that'll take place in March maybe late February or mid-March, whatever they end up doing. It's probably going to be March, late March, to be honest. Um, you got to get the trains on. But yeah, not too much else to talk about in terms of Yukon Striker, but lots will be happening with um, Frontier Canada moving forward and Yukon Striker track were completed. But nothing going on over in the hotel area as well, so I wanted to show you guys that. 
Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update. I'm trying to make them shorter, um, but on uh, big days like this, I know there wasn't any track install, but you can see them setting up for um, some pretty big installments this week and next week. So I wanted to inform you guys about that. So hopefully you enjoyed this construction update. Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Alrighty, so just in time for the holidays, Amusement Insiders is launching its store. So after much trouble and struggle, we have finally moved our shop from the States to Canada um, and found a provider. So awesome. It's taken us a really long time to figure this out. Honestly, who knew running a YouTube channel would be so difficult? I honestly didn't. But we finally have our merch. So we have our calendar, which is super awesome, available for purchase for Christmas or the holidays. We have our photo album, which is actually really cool. Um, that was a last minute buy just because I saw it and I had to get it um, with all the photos in there. It looks super awesome. And then we have an Amusement Insiders shirt. Um, so hopefully you guys really enjoy it. We have our Amusement Insiders um, website up um, in soft launch and the shop is on there as well. Um, anyways, thanks so much, guys, for supporting Amusement Insiders and have a great one. Bye.